Hey everyone, it's Dr. Helen here. So this video is about using the BOGOs for your pets. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the BOGO booklet and just go over the ones that I think are particularly useful to have um, with your pets and how um, to use them, really. So the first two is Northern Escape and Peace. Now, Northern Escape was developed um, with forest bathing in mind. So this is a way to sort of give be connected with nature, calming and soothing um, and, re, re, you know, rejuvenating for really your, your soul. Um, and it's a great one, really, for your pets, um, particularly your dogs. Um, it's going to be super comforting for them. And if they are ones um, that are anxious, this is going to give them the benefits of nature. Um, I just I find that my dogs really do get relaxed around this generally as well. Smells divine. So it's a great one for bringing in the benefits of nature. And if you're not familiar with forest bathing, do go and have a read about it. Um, but this is a really great one for bringing in the benefits of forest bathing into your home, um, particularly, I think, if you've got multi-dog households. But, you know, also if you've just got a dog that um, does get quite stressed. And then when you buy Northern Escape, you get Peace Touch Free. Now, this is another one of my favourites, and I really like to use this. Now, I've got a blind dog who gets quite anxious, and if we get an off-lead dog running up to us, it can be quite stressful for her. I get my peace out. This is a really nice one. Now, this is in the touch roller. It's already pre-diluted with fractionated coconut oil, so you can use it this. Now, if you've got a smaller dog, maybe under 10 kilograms, I'd be diluting it more. But I can certainly, for her size, she's like 25 kilograms, I can just grab the touch roller and I'll pop it over my hand and um, put it particularly down her spine and on her chest. Um, I actually have the oil of this as well, so I'm, I might often diffuse it. I have a dog that's also quite, another one that's quite anxious for different reasons. Um, and again, she often will choose to have peace as well, just, uh, you know, when she's getting a little bit stressy. And we've actually had, um, at the moment, we've got a bit of a storm going on. Um, it's very wet and windy out there. My uh, my boy Rowan's a little bit spooked um, and I'm going to be going to put some peace on him um, when I finish this video because it's just got so many benefits for bringing peace literally in the storm. So um, super beneficial. Now, this is another one um, that's actually quite good for the pets. Air X and Island Mint. Buy Air X and you're going to get Island Mint absolutely free. Now, Air X was designed um, around because of the Australian fires. Um, it was a blend that was put together to um, help purify the air um, and sort of help remove, if you like, toxins from it. So it's safe to use with your cats, your rabbits, your dogs, horses um, to support their respiratory system. So if they've got anything going on that's um, causing them some respiratory um, symptoms, this is going to be a great one to diffuse. Um, also, you know, great for just clearing the air emotionally as well. So if your pet's been a bit agitated, you know, like I mentioned earlier, um, with my, my blind dog. Um, this is again going to be a really good one. Now you can't actually buy this at the moment in the UK. I don't know if after this is going to be available for sale, but certainly at the moment you can't. So I've never actually used this, but I know quite a few of my colleagues um, from the Essential Oil Vet Network um, who are in America and they have access to this really rate it. So I'm really looking forward to using it. Um, and, you know, it's going to be a great one um, for supporting my pets should they need it. But also it smells divine. Um, it's got in there litsia, tangerine, grapefruit, frankincense and cardamom. So some great oils in there to provide um, a beautiful aroma, but also really great support um, physically and emotionally as well. So very supportive. Now, Island Mint, um, not typically something that you're going to necessarily use around your pets. I do use this um, around my dog sometimes for a bit of focus because of the um, the mint side of things. It is one though, if you are like me and you like your little dog sports, it's one that I use when I'm driving. Um, you know, when we're all us crazy dog ladies or maybe you're a crazy horse person and you end up going to all these competitions, you know what, that motorway can get really boring, can't it? Island Mint, on a little lava rock diffuser, lava rock, rock diffusers hanging from your steering wheel, because I use a different diffuser for the cop, for the, the pets. It's going to keep you awake, going to keep you focused. It's all about focus. And again, this is something as well that if you are doing some competitions, you might need that bit of focus. Um, your dog might benefit from a little bit of focus as well, depending on what discipline you're doing. Um, so really great one to use there. 
Yarrow Pom and Sally Bell. Oh my goodness, there's so much. I could literally do like, I don't know, an hour on these two probably. Um, these are really great. So many benefits. Okay. Very, very healing. Let's talk about Yarrow Pom first because you're going to buy Yarrow Pom and you're going to get Sally Bell free. Now, Yarrow Pom is a blend of Yarrow essential oil and pomegranate seed oil. Okay. Now, pomegranate seed oil is an essential fatty acid. Okay. It's got loads of different benefits in there from phytohormones to polyphenols. Um, subsequently very rich in antioxidants um it's got an anti-inflammatory action to it it's very good for repairing the skin it's fit and healing basically emotional scars as well as physical as well um you want to think when you think of pomegranate seed oil you want to think of um sort of rejuvenation physically and emotionally now it actually has um in there it actually prevents the enzyme that breaks down collagen and elastin from breaking them down and it actually promotes the production of those two as well so it's really great for um sort of skin health and other things and added into that you get the yarrow now this is a really important point because if you google yarrow and dogs you might come out that it's not safe and that's true in most cases. But the yarrow that doTERRA has got does not have the constituent in fujone, which is the one that causes the problem. OK, they have got a yarrow that doesn't have fujone in, jone in and they have actually chosen it to be very rich in shimazaline, which is the blue color, OK, which is super healing. Now, yarrow itself is a great oil for um, healing trauma and fear aggression in dogs and other animals as well. But it's got so many different supports for the skin for whatever reason. Um, and so when you combine these two together, it's it's just pretty magical. So bizarrely, this has come up for um, a BOGO because this week, this week I've actually been using um, it quite a lot. So first of all, I've got a two legged dog who, you know, he actually injured his one of his legs. So now he's down to one leg. So he can't mobilize. So I immediately made up a blend and I put some yarrow in. He got injured on Thursday. Yesterday, Friday night, he shakily walked a few steps as soon as he smelt, heard me putting the dinner together. Um, yesterday, he had a little bit of a mooch around the inside of the house. Today, he was actually out in the garden this morning and was able to wander in for his breakfast and everything. This is absolutely amazing. I really, you know, I really did not think it would, he would be back to normal so quickly. And thank goodness he is. So really super helpful. Another dog's managed to get a wound, okay, from fence problems and things and managed to get a wound. So again, I've been using Yarrow Palm to support the healing of the wound appropriately diluted and the results are absolutely fantastic so really great and you know if you've got a dog that's maybe a scar or something as well this is going to be another one that's really good and i say dogs you can also use it on horses as well and um what was i going to say yes scarring make sure it's diluted but don't apply it near sutures okay just wait till the sutures are out or if you want to pop it you can pop it round um around the side of it but um a really um fantastic oil really that's got so many different um benefits to it very very supportive then we've got sally bell so sally bell is a is a blend of frankincense hawaiian sandalwood lavender myrrh helichrysum and rose so again all oils that are very supportive um for the skin and skin rejuvenation, but also have so many other properties to them, particularly when it comes to renewal, um, emotional as well. Obviously, we know frankincense is great for calming, as is sandalwood. Lavender is pretty much great for everything. Well, so is frank, actually. We've got myrrh. Myrrh is very mothering. Now, my blind dog, who was found in a river in Romania when she was two weeks old, she loves myrrh. And I do put it down to the fact that she just needs that extra bit of mothering. Um, and you've got helichrysum in there as well, which is great for renewal and rose, which is another great um, renewal one. And these are all absolutely fantastic for skins and I, skin. And I've actually done a separate video just talking about these two actually for my skin. But this is a great one. So again, very, very good um, for your dogs if they need some kind of emotional support or physical support. Um, appropriate. Uh, diluted again there's no carrier oil in this so you just want to use it you know you just use a couple of drops mix it with 10 um, mils of fractionated coconut oil or you could make a blend with this and that which um, is another good one um and hugely beneficial and it's a great way you know frankincense and hawaiian sandalwood particularly and myrrh helichrysum and rose actually all of those um 
are super expensive oils and it can be really costly to get all of those ones separately when you've actually got them all in here. So it's a great way to get your hands on some really costly oils that can be really beneficial for quite a lot of different things. So um, again, you know, this is also going to be really soothing for the musculoskeletal system. Um, you know, helichrysum can be really supportive for nerve pain, um, as well as other oils for its anti-inflammatory effect as well. Um, also really good for reducing bruising as well. So some really great, as uh, the helichrysum and the myrrh, so it's really hugely beneficial there. And you're just going to appropriately dilute that one. And next, oh, we've got a long thing serenity and cedarwood these are two of my favorites for calming oils i actually have we've got a storm going on outside i actually have cedarwood um in the diffuser at the moment along with um capaber and lavender and i'm going to be adding in serenity because we've actually had some thunder and lightning um this is great so these serenity is always in my calming canines um little toolkit that i i suggest to people but um cedarwood can also be added in and it's really beneficial the dogs really love it it's also the great thing about cedarwood as well is it's um repellent properties as well so it's great to have in a blend to repel those things like you know those pesky insects especially fleas um serenity is a very strong oil you need to appropriately dilute it um so maybe between one and four drops in a in a 10 mil bottle um if you've got a dog or a large dog obviously with horses you can go up to 50 percent or you know or more um and pair it with a cedarwood great to diffuse really calming and soothing for your pets but also great to apply topically as well i love to apply it to their chest area um or down the back of their spine for calming and soothing so um really great or, or on bedding as well which is something i'll often do with my boy maz um he has it on sometimes he will have this on his bed in my bedroom and then he will so it associates sleep and then when we go in the camper van which he doesn't like traveling um i put it on his bed so he actually has that odor memory with those two things so um really a beneficial um one there and then we've got smart and sassy and grapefruit so not something i'm traditionally going to use with um pets they've got some great oils in there though um so again not bad ones to diffuse the citrus oils are ones that all um promote the release of serotonin and dopamine so can be written with the ginger as well it can be really uplifting and for focus um now my bunny actually really likes grapefruit she loves it when i diffuse grapefruit she loves all the citrus oils so again this is another one that can be very soothing um and uplifting for your pets um but that just gives you a little bit of an idea how versatile these oils are because you can use so many of them for your pets as well so i hope that's answered a few questions if you've got any things else you want to know just shout stay safe everyone stay well bye <laughs>